Well, we're talking about school tables again. And David Watts, who was, we think, was it April? Uh, when you April, lost? Uh, April. You caused quite a stir yeah. on that one. <laughs> because if anyone doesn't realise, David goes through data. That's what you mm -hmm. like doing. And obviously school data we're talking about in particular. Something that you've had to, a few FOIs, you've had to make a bit of digging. You also have to look at various websites to get the information you want. Correct so far? That's correct, yeah. Because there's not a lot of this I'm going to be involved in because you've got so much here. But basically, you've got more data that's just come out. You've done some more crunching of numbers. You've got schools that are doing well. You've got schools that are not doing quite so well. Let's start at the very beginning. What was your overall view since the last time we talked? And by the way, we things have got better, haven't they? Things have got better, Paul, actually. Yeah. Um, the I've focused on level five academic attainment and uh, the island averages in every of the one of the five assessed areas, that's reading, writing, speaking and listening, mathematics and sciences, the averages have all gone up. Um, so that's good news. Now, nothing to do with school league tables, of course, but coincidentally, we've had the first time now where schools are having to publish their data online so parents can view it. We've never had that before since my initial freedom but of information. But you have to go to every school to find you it. You still have to go to 32 websites if you want to get a, a ranking of each school. Daphne Kane did ask that question, didn't she? She did ask that question in the Keys, um, mm -hmm. or Tim Mould, for yeah. the data and was referred to the school websites, which is a tortuous process. Okay. Now, what schools are you looking at? What age ranges? But let's get that clear as this well. This is all primary schools at the moment. Right. Um, secondary schools is an ongoing project with me and that's, that's in the future. Um, but I've looked at the 32 island primary schools and I've produced, and it's published on the PAG website, um, a comprehensive guide, and I think it's the most comprehensive guide available to parents, and it culminates, the last 30-odd uh, pages are one page dedicated to each school where you can track your school's performance in subjects and league ranking position over a five-year period. That negates the danger of just looking at one year's results and saying, hey, our school's brilliant because that might have been a freak year. Uh, for whatever reason. Is it a postcode lottery? I mean, is it is standards very similar across the island? Yeah, no, standards vary dramatically across the island. We have schools which, in my opinion, should be in special measures. Special measures? Special measures. Uh, we have others which are would be up there with the best of the schools in England. But of course, your child's place is dependent on your address. It's a postcode lottery. And I did an um, uh, FOI on um, out of catchment requests and it's about a 60-40% split. You've got a 60% chance of getting an out of catchment area request. If you don't, your only alternative is to pay to go privately up to £12,000 a year, mm -hmm. which is a lot, uh, or to go to one of the two faith schools, St Mary's or St Thomas's. And of course St Mary's is under investigation at the moment anyway, as we know. Are league tables driving things up then? You said things are better. <laughs> I don't I can't claim league tables are driving things up. I hope there's uh, a desire to move uh, and improve standards but this is the first time we've the schools have been required to pr produce performance data and that was only done because of initial freedom of information request I made p ooh, way back in 2017 and I've had to do successive freedom of information requests month after month to get the full set of data and invariably the department will wait 20 days to give the response which they're ent entitled to do but of course it takes such a lot of time to, to get this data. Well, Ms. Jean re replied to you last time, but I, I still don't, I mean, maybe, are you, are you talking, you two, basically? I mean, is the communication out after all that hoo-ha last time around? No, we've had, I've had no communication or contact from have, the department have you asked for whatsoever. It I haven't asked for it. it okay. I think that should come from them, Paul. Right. I really do. I mean, they've seen what I've produced. They've seen your interviews. They've seen the media articles. It's covered in, you know, in the printed media, or Manx Radio, other, yeah. other fora as well. Um, they know it's on the PAG website. That last paper has had over 4,400 downloads, which for the eye of man is quite well, good. I mean, parents will be interested. Parents will be, I know. And, yeah. and I mean, how, okay, how do we compare with the UK? Because should, and should we compare ourselves with the UK? Two questions. I there, would like to see us compare with the UK. Do you have the data um, to compare? But we'd, not for primary schools. That's gradually moving away. The last comparable year was 2015. But what we can compare the data with is reception year because there's a new performance measure that's come out called good level of development. England have been running with that for five years. The Isle of Man have been running with it for two years. The two years that the Isle of Man ran with it, we were behind the UK, not so far behind last, last year, 68.7 as opposed to about 71.5. But if you consider England is split into 152 local education authorities, so Trafford, Hartlepool, yeah. Portsmouth, so on. If the Isle of Man was to become the honorary 153rd, have you any idea where we would rank? No, but I think you do. I do. 126th. 
Pardon, that's so one, right two, one, two, one, two, six out of one, five, three in terms of good level of development for our children. Can you put some more, you know, me, flesh that one out? I mean, okay. can, are they very, the ones that below us, are they particularly bad or, I mean? And, no, you know. we, we are, the minute percentages below us. Yeah. Um, we, we do not match any of the local education authorities in in London, places like Tower Hamlets, Newham. We should perceived as deprived, would you but say? Is that, is that Tower Hamlets is turning itself around, but yeah. it's a very high mixture of, well, cosmopolitan mix. I mean, that's, that's a damning headline, yeah. and, and you stand by that. I, mean, I stand by that, that's on the, and if you look at my paper, which is on the PAG website, I think it's Table 11, and that breaks it down by local education authorities. And parents will obviously have an affinity with a region, and many parents will have an affinity with an English region, because they've yeah. come from there, or they have family living there. And I think the most damning statistic I found there, or worrying and disappointing, was our comparison with Hartlepool, one of the most deprived areas in the United Kingdom, high unemployment, high levels of child poverty, and they still managed to produce a good level of development average higher than the Isle of Man, and we're roughly at the same cohort. Yeah, well, in terms I'm expecting Mr. Gene to be on the phone as soon as he sees this, because obviously th there's going to be two sides to this, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. Other things that have come out of this. I mean, you've, you've, you've got. I mean, you brought out in three particular, which happened to be Mr. Kajin's area. I notice, but uh, <laughs> you're traffic lighting it. I suppose it's, uh, just yep. reds yep. and greens. And you can, if, if you want to hold those up, it's up to you. But you know, just to highlight what sort of things we are seeing. Just put it up here. Explain well, that. okay. This is what I, what, I've, what I've termed a dashboard. Yep. Uh, and this is I've got Arby schools for an example here. So it's a single page guide for a parent who just wants to have a look at how their child's performed. Uh, sorry, how their school has performed over a five-year period. Mm -hmm. um, top left covers the good level of development, and you can see the England in the blue graph, the Isle of Man in the orange, and where Arbury fits in. Arbury is above the Isle of Man average for last year, but still below England. Right. The right-hand box is all the contextual data. How big is the school? Because if parents choosing a school, some would like an intimate village school, others would prefer an ethnically diverse school, like Henry Bloom Noble, for instance, or Cosmopolitan School. It also covers um, you know, the percentage of the school role that have free school meals and special educational needs. And it gives you context data so you can put the figures into some sort of right. meaning. There's a, there's a fair bit of the uh, main green. One, yeah, yeah the, the main dashboard. Green indicates above average performance, level five in the given subjects, reading, writing, so on. Red below. So you can see Arbury has done generally well. It had a bit of a blip in 2015 and 2016 in terms of writing, but otherwise it's performed, you know, last year, for instance, the most recent data, uh, 2018, above average in every subject. So parents could go now onto the PAG website, particularly because it's all there yep. on, a, on a website with all the all schools broken down. 32 pages, one for each school. I know there's some that are concerning, and I'm not sure if I really want to kind of upset people, but they will find that out. But maybe on a positive note, is this not the one that's the well, most fantastic example? Look at that. That's Dune. Dune School <laughs> is where you want to send everyone, by the way. But that's, that's impressive, right? You're happy with that one? I'm happy with that one. Yeah. I mean, look at the, the, the positions where it's come, you know, 24, you know, it's coming first, fourth, fifth, first, first. You can see where their league table ranking is. You can see that. One thing I, I will point out, so again, parents put it into context, Dune has got a very small population, school population. So one pupil will equate to quite a large percentage. So when parents are right. looking at the figures there, they must, you know, if it's just a fraction below. So then numbers could swing vastly. They can swing vastly. Yeah, yeah. Foxdale, I think Foxdale, I think had two pupils in year six, which begs another question, quite frankly, about viabilities of schools. So one yeah. pupil is 50%. But parents, are savvy enough and they don't need to be treated or those parents who want to know about academic and strive for academic standards shouldn't be treated as pariahs by the mm -hmm. department and I think they are regarded as a bit Let's pushy, sum this up. Say. How do, what are you going to do now? I mean obviously you're crunching numbers all the time but do you want an interaction with Mr. Gajin and his uh, people? I would welcome that. I'd welcome because they could produce far better. They could do it themselves. They could do it for themselves. Through freedom of you information. Know, but you know, have you been refused any information, by the way, this time? Have, you, have everything been given that you wanted? It has. Um, sometimes it's had to go to review. Not as far uh, as the Information Commissioner and all that? No, not as far as the Information Commissioner. The department can yeah. do an independent review. But what's yeah. interesting sometimes, and they'll put the denial or the refusal on the f disclosure log, but they won't publish the subsequent upheld review data. Don't they data. have to? No, they don't have to publish oh. anything on the disclosure log, actually. Oh, this is... 
Freedom of information is smoke and mirrors. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think, as you see, that more and more people are using the Information Commission, and I would encourage any parent who wants to find out data about right. their school yeah. or schools to use the Freedom of Information Act. Give us a positive headline from all the data. One positive thing you you could say. Um, positive thing is the averages have gone up, and mm -hmm. let's hope that that is now the start of a much improved journey. But let's hope the department. Yeah. Bouncing that will engage with parents. And what's the negative? The big headline there. The negative is GLD. Um, so some GLD schools, is uh, sorry, the good level of development are are standing compared to England. Yeah. You know that 120. The comparison. Oh, point. Uh, and also some schools here are some of their performance really. One has to question the education improvement service what they've been doing, and above all the boards of governors at these schools. Where yeah. do you think we should be in that list, by the way? Do you think well, 50, the halfway up? You know the the this the, list of the, the UK. Good level of development. Yeah. Well. The department oh, service delivery plan want a world class um, education. That's their vision. So we should be. I would like to think we should be in the top quarter mm -hmm. because we want. Yeah, the government want to attract people to move to the island. Parents in the UK can get data on their schools at the press of a button. Here, uh, yeah. they've got to strive for it. I mean, maybe I'll ask someone personally. Is it fixable? Is it something that you think it's just down to the quality of, of the teachers, or, or is it the, 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 I think the way it might, that they're being? Taught I think it might or? need a bit of a cultural shift. Right. Um, there's this emphasis on the six R's: mm -hmm. resilience, relationships, and so on. Let's get the three R's right first. And many schools are failing their pupils. And you can look at the data. You saw the Dune one there. I can show you ones that are red, and sure. I can show you ones that are like a Christmas tree, which is very appropriate for this time of year. Of course. Fine. Check out the PAG website for all the details. And no doubt, we'll hear, hopefully, from the other side. And you keep crunching. I'll keep crunching. <laughs>